So PJ, you initially agreed upon installing the freezer for $47,000. No. No, you didn't. Okay. The cost of the installation of the freezer is $76,695. That's the new price that you're giving us today? No, that's the old price I'm still giving you. Okay. PJ, where did you buy the freezer from? What was the name of the auction? I don't know. He's not talking to you. He, he's working. So this guy PJ from PJ Restaurant Supply in the Bronx, New York, originally quoted us for about $35,000 to do the whole freezer installation and refrigerator installation. And every week since, he's come back at us with more and more money. Uh, right now, we're about $47,000 deep. It's been a month and a half, and he promised us to do this job I mean, it was supposed to be done a month and a half ago, and he's been leading us on and on and on every week. And I gave him two options. One, he can finish the job as promised for $47,000 by July 24th, which is perfectly reasonable. You know, it's, it's more than a month past the time he's supposed to do it. Come in, finish the job for the initial agreed upon amount. Well, more than the agreed upon amount of $27,000. That was one option. The second option was, for him to give me my $47,000 back and take all of this nonsense out of here and I'll go have someone else build me a freezer for $47,000. I am aggravated beyond belief. This, I, I told this guy to leave my facility three times already. I said, listen, those are the two options. That's it. You can finish the job as promised or give me my money back, take this freezer out, I'll start from scratch, I will find someone else. This guy has been jerking us around for three, four, five weeks now. I don't know what kind of mechanics he's hiring. I've asked him where he's purchased every single component of this freezer, of this refrigerator, and he refuses to tell me. I asked him the name of the auction. I had to squeeze it out of him. I asked him the name of the restaurant, the vendor that he purchased our refrigerator from. He wouldn't tell me. I'm asking him where he's purchasing these compressors from. He's not telling me. He's not telling me anywhere he's purchasing these items from. He's not honest about it. Listen, I don't care if this guy's taking me a ride for taking me for a ride for $20,000. That's probably what he's doing already, but he wants $20,000 more. So I gave him two options. He can, he can take all of this crap out and give me my $47,000 back, or he can finish the job as intended for $47,000 right now. That's it. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't planning on talking about this today. I didn't think this would be this much of an issue, um, but I, I mean, I hope I don't have to call the police to get this guy out of here, but um, th th this guy is a really, horrible liar and i don't even know how adam dealt with this guy i think i think he came in and promised us a really low price and then we just rolled with him and then we realized how much of a, a con man he is or not a con man but this guy's a clown um this guy's a fucking clown and uh if you guys want to call up he, i mean i don't know this guy's got a shop in the bronx i mean with how many people he's probably ripped off already he can probably retire but uh you guys want to call up pj restaurant supply i'll, I'll put the number down in the description below i'll even I'll even put it on this video right here. Where did this guy go? No, this guy's gonna leave. He's still here? Yeah, he's still here, he's walking around. PJ, you're gonna, you're gonna go home. Adam. No, 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 no. Adam, please, I want to speak to he's you. He's not talking, please. he's not talking to you anymore. I still have a, a balance I've, I've asked you three times, to me. I've asked you three times to leave my facility. Adam, okay? I'm There's no more you. negotiating. I don't know him. I I'm have the owner of the business, my name is Frank. Okay, I'm the so owner whatever of the business. he's saying, you agree to what he's saying? We agreed on what he's saying. Yes. I still got balance owed to me on the job. I'm no, not you don't. No, the no, job. No, no, I still no, got no. balance owed no, to me. No, you don't. You don't have anything Please. to you. Because you didn't finish the job yet. You don't, get, you don't get paid until you finish the job. You've already been paid more than the full amount we've agreed upon, and you still have not finished the job, and you're asking me for more Adam, money. Please, I've asked you three times. Adam, no, don't call I'm, I'm, I'm telling you one more time. Do not say another he's word. Embarrassing me, do not say please. another word to this guy. You're going to leave right now. You're going to leave right now. You're leaving right now, or I'm gonna call the police. Adam, okay? please, can I speak to you? Because I, when I leave here, I'm you're not, not you're, you are on private property. You. I don't want us to start going to court for this bullshit. How close is the fucking thing? I don't want us to start going to court for this thing. So please, let's talk and see how We're it goes. I'm gonna file a police report right money. now. Hi, I'm at, I'm I have um, an installer who was supposed to install my refrigerator and it's gotten a little bit ugly. He's refusing to leave the property. Um, yeah, I, own, I have the lease on the property. Uh, if you could please get an officer over here as soon as possible.
Don't say a word to him. Don't say a fucking word to this guy. It's 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 not it's not an apartment. It's a warehouse. There's a there's a side door on the left with a garage. It's on what? That's, what is it? What is it? I'm telling. No, I t I've told this guy five times to leave my property, and he's not walking out. I'm the owner. Yes. I have, the, I have a lease on the property. This guy, his, na his name is PJ. He owns a restaurant supply company. He's supposed to install our freezer. I told him, listen, you can finish installing the freezer or you can give me my money back. And, he's, and he's, now he's yelling at us and he's not leaving the property. What do you mean? I, I mean, I have his full name. He's black. Okay, yeah, he's, he's black. He's black. He's wearing a black hat. He has a beige shirt on. He's blue jeans. He has a beige... Collared button down shirt. 5'10, 5'11. And he's Caribbean. Dark skin. That mechanic has not been paid. You see that mechanic? I have not paid him. Because I don't want to pay him. To find out to you, FN. You have an officer coming right you now. You are right? talking about paying him. That's why I said don't pay him. I yeah. have to make sure he fits before he got paid. Okay? If, he, if I have paid him, he Let's see how we can get this thing resolved. Yeah, can you send a fucking officer? The, this guy's yelling at my plumber, face, The plumber, I'm not in the Okay, plumber. they're coming, all right. I'm gonna go get my $1,000. Yeah, I'm, this. I'm here, yes. The sink and this table have no. not been paid for. Remember, the sinks, the table, everything belongs to me. But I gave it to you. All right. So they're not even installed, take them. Huh? They're not even installed, take no, them. Don't talk to this guy, don't talk no, to this no, guy. No, no, I, I, don't talk to this guy. I, I just want to ask one thing because he's your partner. I don't want to, I don't know him. I ain't there with you. I know you say he's your partner. You know, but the way he's treating me, he just want me to go out. But I'm cooking my coat. Come outside, come on, come outside. Let's go outside, let's go. Let's go. Let's go outside, come on. Let's go outside. We're going to have to talk with the police. We're going to file a police report. This is ridiculous. I don't understand why I have to deal with this stuff. Like, I've told you guys many times. The reason I do this me company is for you guys. I make absolutely zero money. Me and Adam have been killing ourselves for the year and a half. And I have to deal with this stupid motherfucker that's trying to steal the money that I've worked so hard for, that I've taken from people by providing them with high quality nutrition. And then I have these crooks, these con men, that try to rip people off for 15, 20, $25,000 on a little job so they can go on their vacation to whatever fucking country they came from. We got the... I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to the camera. I'm 50 something years old. I'm not a kid. I, I know maybe you call me a black nigga. I don't care. So please, I didn't say anything. Uh, the reason I had to say black is the police were asking me. The police were asking me your description. I don't respect you. I respect Adam. Le legally, I'm pretty sure I could have fucking beat this guy to death already. Yeah, the, 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 he's complaining about this, the, the cream. That thing is in, it's, it says it's in uh, 22 degrees. It's, I think the freezer is zero degrees, right? This is not, we're not talking about the freezer anymore. Do you understand this is, English? This is the mechanic. I've asked you three huh? times to leave my property. Look, listen, listen, I'll call you back, I'll call you back. I've asked you at least three times to leave my property. I mean, it's probably honestly about 10 I'll right call now. You back. I gave you the two options already. I explained it to you many times. Now I don't think there's two options. I think there's one option. I think the one option is you take this shit out of here and give me my money back. Don't say a word to this guy, okay? Not a word. I'm gonna go outside and wait for the police. All right. I don't give a fucking shit. I'll go buy a fucking frozen truck right now and put this meat on it for two fucking weeks. I'm tired of dealing with this shit. And it's not just this, guys. It's every step, every step along the way has been a living fucking nightmare. And I've been pretty quiet about it to you guys, but the reason I'm, I'm so aggravated right now with this stuff, I don't, first of all, it's ridiculous. You guys probably understand the situation, but I know this is just the fucking start. When I start doing other stuff for my business, when I start going to other vendors, I need this done, I need that done, I'm just gonna get fucked and fucked and fucked over and over and over again. I'm so sick of this shit. Don't talk to him. Do not talk to him. Not talk, you're not talking to him. He's not talking to you. He's not saying a word to you. I've asked you to leave. He's not going to talk to you, and he's going to be quiet until the police come and make you leave. Just relax. Don't say a word to him. Guys, the real reason I'm so aggravated is because I just 
you know, if this was if this was myself, if I was doing this on my own, it's one thing. But you know, I, I have Adam with me. You know, he has a family. He has his responsibilities, and you know, th this poor guy's been killing himself for over a year now, and you know, we're, we're still dealing with this nonsense. This guy shouldn't have to put up with this shit. Um, he really shouldn't. And um, uh, we, we have a, we have a bunch of stuff back in stock on Frankie's syringe meat freezer full of meat. So um, I know a lot of you guys were asking for the Lamborghini, so we have that stuff. I mean, we should still be able to keep things running out of the old facility right now, but. Um, this is just, this is just, you know, we were supposed to be in this facility back in February. It's July and I'm, I'm looking at having this asshole rip out the whole fucking freezer. I'm literally just going to go buy a bunch of cube, uh, a bunch of box freezers. I don't even know what to do at this point. I really don't. You know, it's, it's just, let me call up the fucking, let me, they, they should have been here already. This guy's still berating Adam for no reason. I had, I need my, I need to pay for the job that I do. I need to pay for the job I do. That's how loud the uh, that's how loud the compressor he installed is. Uh, so normally they install the compressor on the roof, but he cheats that on the job a little bit, saves some money. I mean, he should be able to put a muffler on that, but uh, we're gonna I guess we're gonna have to do that if we still keep this type of shit. I don't know what this guy's taking his box of bullshit with him. I don't know if he's leaving now. That I'm gonna I have to file a police report anyway, even if this guy's leaving. So this guy just walked over to his uh, rented U-Haul truck, put a bunch of his mechanic stuff in it. I don't want to film the street because I'll reveal the location where we're at, but I don't know why it's taking these cops so long to get to, uh, should be a precinct right here. I think there's literally a precinct right here. So this guy's not coming back inside. Thankfully he left. No, you're going to wait for the police and they can take you. The police, 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 the police can come and you can get the sink. No, no, this I'm is taking, my property. I'm taking my sink. Let me take my sink and go. Okay. So he just, he just pushed me. He just pushed me. He forced himself into the building. Not that the police are going to care. This just isn't worth it. I hurt you. I work for you for months. I guess we're gonna settle this in court. So we just drag, dragging the sink on the floor, scratching our floor. We could write that in the notes to the lawyer. He's been asked multiple times to leave the property. He forced himself into the door. Now he's dragging his sink outside, scratching the floor, and the police are nowhere to be found. Guys, just dragging stuff out on the floor, scratching the floor. I don't know what this thing costs. Probably twenty-five dollars. So I locked the door. I don't know if that's gonna stay. Is this the guy you're talking yes, about? Yes, yes. Okay, so, so what's going on? What's so your relationship to him? He he was hired to install freezer and refrigeration. Okay. And the job was supposed to be done a month and a half ago. Okay. He's freezer. been jerking us around, asking us for more money every single week. Okay. Today I had enough. I said, listen, you can either give us our money back or you can do the job for the intended price by July 24th. I gave him a week and a half, which is very generous considering he was supposed to do the job two months ago. He was belligerent. He wouldn't give me a straight answer. I said, okay, listen, you need to leave right now. I, I have it on camera, me telling him to leave at least 10 times over two, over an hour ago, and he refused to leave. After about an hour, I, I, mean, I mean, as soon as he refused to leave, I called the police. I've been waiting for you guys for about an hour now. He started yelling at my business partner. I told my business partner not to talk to him. He got angry. He started yelling at me on camera. He, he dragged those, I have him on camera, pushing me aside, forcing himself into the door. I said, he walked out, and I said, no, you're not coming back in. He pushed me aside. I have it on camera. He forced his way into the door. He took the sinks and dragged them on the floor, scratched the floor, took them out into his truck. I'm assuming that's some that's illegal, that's breaking and entering without permission. Who, um, who those things belong to? 
It was verbally agreed that he would install the sinks beforehand. So he was supposed to install the sinks. You purchased them and he was supposed to install them. But you gave him a deadline to install them. He I mean, he, I mean he was supposed to install the freezer the whole job. The point is, I told him to leave. He refused to leave. He forced himself back in. And now he's still refusing to leave. He's still recording. He's still recording. He could record. But he's distracting me from talking to you. Can you tell him to stop? I can't, I can't tell him to stop, but let me just hear his side of the story, okay? Can you this just is a public back place. A this bit? is my business. That's I'm recording fine. the interaction. Okay, talk to me. What's going on? I, I can't. He has recorded me for one hour. So. so I don't know if I finish the job or they're going to pay me. So I told my mechanic, don't come. Because the environment is coming hostile. I okay. see what is going on. So you know what? Let me speak to Adam. Because the reason why you, it's not that you don't want to complete the job, you want to complete it, but you don't want your you don't want your mechanics to come because it's happening. Okay, so let us speak to Adam. You want to complete it, but you just don't want to complete it under hostility. Under hostility. Okay. Let me speak to Adam. Adam, okay? Adam, okay. 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 Adam, okay.
Well, that's not what I ordered. I ordered this, you need to complete. So then, halfway through the job, he sends me a new contract, which we didn't discuss. He just increased the amount to 47000 which we paid. So not only did he break this contract, he asked for more money, we paid the additional fee. Now he's coming out with like $25,000 more, and this still original contract isn't even done. The unit is not at the correct temperature. It's not, it's too loud. The other unit is still hot. So he keeps coming in asking for more and more and more money. And so today, my partner and I were discussing this whole thing. This is a side street, you can go around. This is great, we got, we got UPS here loading up the truck. They're blocking traffic so people are honking us. Adam's talking to police. This is great. Great, great uh, Tuesday. Did not plan on doing this today. I'm gonna buy a farm and get the hell out of here. That if he can do the job for the new higher price of 47,000 and finish the job, well, whatever. We need, we need to finish this job, just finish it. He didn't even agree to that. He then said, no, it's going to be an additional 25,000. Why did he break in the budget? But to be honest, I don't like don't he already he has been talking to us for hours. I don't have time to waste on this guy anymore. So if there's more to the story, you know, okay, he, he so can say here's it. the but thing, here's the thing. I'm not sure who called number one, you guys or my partner, because he asked him no, to leave the premise. I mean, I just, that's right, he asked him to leave it. and he wouldn't leave. I have video I have video footage of him shoving okay, me and I forcing himself you. in the building. I Give me a second. So I don't know if my my cop explained this to you. This is there's no way. He owes us twelve thousand dollars. Sir. Yeah. Okay, if you want to get in the conversation, you can stand here. Sure. Oh, sorry. guys, don't stand sorry. behind me. I don't like Just, people behind me. Yeah, yeah sorry. thank you. So, that's what it is. It's a civil matter. And Regardless of the whatever this is, you think they owe you, you think he didn't do, he did a uh, shitty job, you have to sue him and take him to court for your money. Right, yeah. That's how that works. Yeah, we just you want can't to stay. No, no, we told him, you can't stay here, you have to leave. So, so if he physically put his hands on me and shoved himself in the building, is that a civil matter? Yeah. We're talking about money. Are you talking about something else? Well, I have video here. footage and... Okay, and so we'll take a report for that. They're going to do that. Just give me a second. Okay. He can't... You can stay here. We spoke to you about it. Okay? Okay. Adam, so... I have to leave and go to court. Is that what you want? Or you want me to bring... No, I want you to finish the job. My mechanic... Frankie offered you. He said, finish the job for more than you requested. He said that to you. But and then you I, said... I wrote no, down no, on it. I wrote down on... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I wrote down on a piece of paper inside. You have two options. By July 24th, which is next Friday, which is reasonable considering he was supposed to finish the job two months ago, I said, listen, by, by one and a half weeks from now, you can finish the job for more than the initial agreed amount of $47,000, or you take all this bullshit out of here and you give me my money back. Those are the two options I gave him. And in addition to finishing the job for the, 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 that amount of 47 k I told him, listen, give me the vendors, the names of the mechanics, every single person you purchase items from, so I can understand how much you're fucking me for. Okay. That's what I told him. You understand that? I understand. No, he doesn't. So, so to your question, I don't want it to go to court. I want the job done. Okay. But we can't we can't so continue to bleed money. Other, so maybe over the phone? Okay. Right? We can agree to something? No, they're, they're, so no we, we've been okay, arguing right. for two you hours. Guys, no. You guys are t telling me two different things. He wants to finish, you want something. Right. Right. So you, have, you guys have to be on the same page? We are on the same page. Okay, doesn't sound that way to me. No, so I, I'm sorry. It's, when I, when I say I want the job done, it means I don't want him to do it because he doesn't even do the job. That's the thing. This is a, with him. He hires over. third party third party contractor. And there's no reason for him to be part of any of it. To be well, honest. Well, he's a contractor. Contractors usually hire other people. Yeah, no, that's fine. So, but I'm yeah. saying that in order to finish this, even on my phone. Also, sorry. That you can, contractors, you can, so this is my money. They never pay me my money. But if, all that's the work crazy, PJ. If you keep opening, you just wrote that today. You. I could go on a computer and type any numbers but I want. I will the system. Okay, so, to, do so me, can let me say something. You're way too close to me for my comfort. You can record. Just say thank you so much. Ada, please. I'm willing to finish the job. The, contract, the, the mechanics and the electricians that are waiting for me to call them to come in and finish the job. Yeah, but you're trying to get paid but, like double the amount. And the, and the no. other thing is, the job has taken no, over no, no, two no, no, months. No, 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 so no, no, He no. keeps saying tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. PJ, tomorrow. PJ one before, simple question. Do you want to do the job before, for 47 k before, before any of this amount this is, is ridiculous. Ridiculous. No, Do you want to do the no job problem. for 47000 Yeah, I want it done. Okay, you want it done. What I, else, I think, what, I think what, this is beyond that. I mean, no, I'm just, I'm, you're not on the same this page. is the thing. I, I'm sorry. You just asked him a question. You don't you understand. No, you, hold on, hold on. You don't it's understand. true we want it done. We're just skeptical that we can get no, it. No, 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 no. Let, let, yeah. So, what, what Adam is saying, what Adam is saying that, of course, yes, we want the work finished, but at this point, we don't we don't think we can work with him. So what happens with the money then? The job is we gave him forty seven thousand dollars. I mean I mean we're, not, we're probably what we're probably gonna have to do is take this clown to court and get some money right. back and that's, pay someone else to do the job. That's what I'm saying. He's not gonna give you back so if you don't want him to finish, he's not gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the bank and see if I can cancel the checks and reverse it. Uh, 
Okay, then he has. When he sues you, then that's something. That's different. great. He's not going to win because okay. he can't speak. Okay. All right, so this is the, me, this is the civil. Let me say. Well, I, I have video footage of him shoving something. me aside and, and forcing his way to the building. Is that is a criminal matter? I said that with him. Uh, if Adam he shoved me, he shoved me and forced himself into my building, then I have a reason. But if I finish the job, he's going to pay right, well, me the balance of the money. No, well, we, we asked him to leave 10 times. This is, this is it is. Civil. This is okay. a civil matter. What are we doing? You don't want him here? I need you to leave. Yeah, yeah right. I'm right. I'm about to leave. We want him to leave, yes. Get in your car to leave. and leave. That's as far as the money, you guys want to have to go to court, talk to each other, yeah. be If you want me to finish the job, I need to you have to make an agreement with me that you're going to pay me. I'm, I'm telling you, you. I'm, I'm not getting your car leave. Thank you. This is the second full on. I'm sorry. As far as you want to use those, like I said, maybe on a different day, you can figure it out with him. Maybe you can sign something, say that you're going to raise the price. I'm not sure. I'm not a business person, but it makes sense to me. Something on paper, because it's ridiculous. I accept it. Yeah. Even I was like, he just brings in a new paper that has a new amount, and he's like, "This is the new contract." Can he I makes up you? the contract. Why are you still here? Why are you still here? I asked him to leave 15 times already. He didn't leave. I feel like I've acted pretty reasonable this whole day, but with how crazy everyone else around me is acting, I'm starting to think I'm crazy myself. The, the way the situation was handled on every single front, this is unbelievable. Well, six police officers later. Almost had a brain aneurysm. This guy's leaving. We have the. We'll give you guys an update on what happens, but I don't know at this point. I don't know at this point. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. If I don't, I'll jump off the bridge.